So let's start playing Rock League in 2016, right? And the only reason why I even bought the game was because of the 2016 Batmobile being in it. So mind you, this is like beginning of December, end of November. I was looking for a game to play and I was like, screw it. There's the Batmobile. I'm buying that game. So I ended up playing the game with no friends, being just complete dog shit for about six months. And two of my buddies got the game and I convinced them, hey man, let's start grinding, right? So we ended up grinding every day for three years straight in and out of games, playing constantly, meeting new friends. I Being in the military at the time, there was guys coming and going, and there was one, one of my good buddies, he came in and was like, hey, man, you play Rocket League? And I'm like, yeah, I play Rocket League. And ever since then, we play all the time. On top of that, uh, during that time, we had $20 Key Fridays, which could get out of hand very rapidly when you're taking the risk of rolling crates and having fun and trying to get that black market. Well, after a while, some things started changing. You know, of course, we hit the, the rank of champion. This was before SSL. And then as soon as we hit champion, the game goes free to play. We drop back down to diamond. We keep grinding. And I think it was a really good thing because it really allowed the community to grow. And it felt like it was a push in the right direction, which gave that life energy to the game and allowed everybody to play. But at the same token, I feel like it was a push in the wrong direction, only because it happened to show some things uh, that Daddy Epic wanted. And Daddy Epic's all about the bottom dollar. Daddy Epic's all about the money, right? And it started with the release of the Titanium White Zombas, which was highly sought after at the time, throwing that in the item shop. And then we hear... Don't worry, guys. We'll never put Titanium White Octane in there. And then all of a sudden, boom, the White Octane this past Christmas for a week in the item shop. And it just completely just tanked. And I mean, tanked the trading market. Now, mind you, for a while there, when we were grinding every day for, you know, three years straight, one of my favorite things to do was to go online and attempt to find somebody that I can trade with. And I had so much fun, like putting trades up and, you know, just going from there. But with Rocket League doing that, they had to get rid of the crates, which I completely get. I completely get because it was 100% gambling because that's why that $20 key Friday could get out of hand really quick is because you kept trying to roll those crates that you got while you were playing to try to get those black markets, to try to get those highly sought after items, right? It was it was addicting. Now, trust me, I didn't roll as much as some of my friends. There was I had a buddy of mine who couldn't fucking keep a crate in his goddamn inventory because he was like, damn, dude, I got to roll this shit. But with them opening the item shop, what that created was them needing a way to keep people clicking on the item shop. So what they do is they put highly sought after items in there. Well, the one problem that they'll never be able to fix is alpha items and alpha items are the gold cap the gold stone which is the wheels the gold nugget which is the antenna and the gold rush aka alpha boost so come find out what you could do with alpha items which i didn't know until recently because a lot of people have been getting banned is you can go to daddy epic and be like hey my alpha items i got scammed they were stolen and boom guess what they will give you a trade lock alpha item. Now, where was this three, four years ago when people were trading, you know, gray octanes? Hey, man, I swear to God, that's a titanium white one. You get scammed and Psyonix is like, tough shit, buddy. You got to move on, right? Um, so what they'll do is they'll give you a trade lock alpha boost for that account. I want you guys to think about it. Alpha Boost costs $4,000 of IRL money, right? In real life money. And one thing I don't get is everybody keeps throwing that number out there. $4,000, $4,000, $4,000. Now, mind you, that's what all the higher up content creators and pro players say is that Alpha Boost costs $4,000. But mind you, if you get one of those trade, you know, locked accounts, you could have bought them at a fraction of the price. Right. If it was four thousand dollars for the legit alpha boost, 
you were able to buy these accounts for $1,000, link that account and be able to use it on your actual account, right? But is it worth your account being banned? And is it worth putting you, you know, yourself out there to potentially getting all that flack? But I want you to look at this, right? Freaking, here's Rocket League's website. Please remember that all player-to-player -player trades are final. Selling your account is not allowed. So you know it's not. Selling in-game items for real-world cur cur currency, not allowed. Trading in-game items for items in other games, not allowed. So, like, we know what's at risk if you're going to end up selling your account. So I don't feel like these, these players should be permanently banned. You should give them, you know... Three to six months, whatever. And mind you, according to Daddy Epic here, trading for money outside of uh, Rocket League, you will be banned. Right? So that's just one of those things. And I still don't understand how, you know, these big time content creators are like, yeah, I spent $4,000. It's like, if I was to do that, I would get shit on. I'm not about to, you know, potentially put my stuff at risk because I've, like I said, I've been playing since 2016, three years every day. I play probably three or four times a week, but I'm getting to the point where I'm like, you know what? It's a love hate relationship. And I think it's total bullshit that, you know, if I want to go and play casual, it's like playing ranked. I got to sit here and fucking sweat. If I want to sit down and just play a game with my buddies who are, you know, gold and platinum right but uh in closing i feel like psionics still has time to correct the ship but if they're going to do that they're going to have to communicate with people they're going to have to talk with people they're going to have to allow for that communication to be like hey this is what we're doing this is how we plan on fixing it hey the reason why we're not talking a lot right now about the bots about you know all this stuff right is because we're working on the Unreal Engine 5. Cool. If you're working on the Unreal Engine 5, at least tell us, hey, man, you know, we're, we're really strapped because they're a small, small company. Bullshit. They're not small. They're a big company. They're, they're owned by fucking Epic Games. Epic fucking Games owns, you know, Rocket League. They own Among Us. They own Fortnite. They own a whole bunch of games. But they have to to be able to communicate and let us know that they're doing something. Otherwise, you're going to cost yourself your community. And especially, I love Rocket League. I love watching 1v1s. I love watching 2v2s and RLCS. They need to really start communicating and correct this ship. Otherwise, you're going to lose your community. But, hey, until next time, y'all, I'll see you. Bye.